Liberty Lake is one of the most beautiful cities in all of Eastern Washington, but there is more to a city than just how it looks. Stick around because I'm gonna tell you 10 reasons you might wanna avoid this place. My name is Trent. I've lived in this area for 30 years and I'm a realtor in Idaho. Now, some of you are thinking, Trent, if you're a realtor in Idaho, why are you talking about Washington? Well, over in Idaho, I have the Living Life North Idaho Realty Group and my agent, Stephen, is licensed in Washington. So even though I only cover Idaho, we can cover Washington and it's right next door. So that's why we're talking about it. Now, if this is your first time to the channel and you're interested in what it's like living, eating, sleeping, playing, buying real estate here in Idaho or Eastern Washington, then this is definitely the channel for you. Go ahead and tap the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so every time we come out with a new video, you get notified. And guys, every single day, we're having people just like you reaching out, asking us questions about what it's like living here. They need a little bit more information to decide if this is the right place for them or they've been watching the channel and they know that this is the place they wanna to move to and they just need someone to help make that happen. That's why we're here, we absolutely love it. So if this is you, reach out with a phone call, text, or an email, day, nights, weekends, it does not matter. We love helping people get moved to this wonderful place in the world. Now guys, I've lived in this area for 30 years. I've lived in Liberty Lake, my mom used to live in Liberty Lake, so I'm very familiar with this town. And when I tell you these things, I'm not saying that this is my opinion that they're negative, but they're definitely gonna be negative for some people. I'm just here to provide you that information and let you decide. So let's dive in. Liberty Lake is right next door to Post Falls, Idaho with just the state line that divides the two towns. A lot of people consider this to be one of the nicest towns in Eastern Washington, but there's 10 reasons this might not be a good fit for you and we're gonna go through those now. The first one is, as you know, Washington is a pot friendly state. So Liberty Lake does have a pot shop that does sit right outside of town. It's over by the on-ramp, off-ramp, right at the state line. Uh, it's away from trailheads in schools. That was some of the requirements for the city in order to let it come in. And I know a lot of people have an issue with that, especially if you live in a big city and you've watched how your city has changed with marijuana being introduced. Now I did have a meeting with Mayor Chris Kaminska, the mayor of Liberty Lake, and I asked her, has there been any negatives to having the pot store in Liberty Lake? And she said, luckily it's far enough out of town that most people don't even notice that it's there and crime really has not changed since it was put in a few years ago. But that might have to do with the fact that the license plates are about 70% from Idaho. So I don't know if Post Falls has experienced more crime since it's open, but she said it has not negatively affected Liberty Lake. But if you really don't like the fact that marijuana is legal and you don't wanna see a pot shop, Liberty Lake might not be the place for you. The second reason you might wanna avoid Liberty Lake, Liberty Lake is not very political. I know right now a lot of people are being polarized. They're moving to get in a more conservative area or to go to a more progressive area. And frankly, Liberty Lake just doesn't really take sides. It's right in the middle of the road. It has a pretty fair balance between Democrat and Republican. And really, it's kind of distasteful to bring up politics, especially if you have really strong opinions about it. So you're gonna see a mixture of some pride flags on certain people's homes and American flags. And you know what? Most of the people just accept the fact that this is America and people have the right to believe what they wanna believe and they leave each other alone. Again, some people really, really like that and they're looking for that while others wanna be in their conservative towns or their more progressive towns and Liberty Lake, I would say, is split evenly in the middle. If you are moving for political reasons and you wanna be surrounded by your group, Liberty Lake is probably not the best place to be. The third reason you might wanna avoid Liberty Lake is Liberty Lake is very big on education. They just built a brand new state-of-the-art high school called Ridgeline High School in between Green Acres and Liberty Lake. They have a really, really nice middle school. And honestly, they do a lot for the students here and they spend a lot per student, about $18,000 a year per student compared to Idaho's $8,000. So about $10,000 more per year per student. 
that's quite a big jump. Now, I know a lot of people are worried about education and the cost that goes into it and it being kind of a propaganda center for liberals, but the fact is, is that Liberty Lake really sees education being the key to a bright future for our kids, so they do invest a lot. The fourth reason you wanna avoid Liberty Lake, Liberty Lake is not cheap. During 2020, the population was 10,000. 2022, it's now 12,000. That's a 20% increase, and the housing developers have not been keeping up. That drives prices up quite a bit, plus it is a very, very desirable place to live, and so you do have a bit of a waiting list to get a home. But what does it cost to live here? Let's take a look. So waterfront property here in Liberty Lake, the median home price is around $1 million to be right on the lake. The homes up on Legacy Ridge, which is the hill that overlooks Liberty Lake, those are around $1.1 million for a median home price. Townhomes and condos are around $350,000. Your average single home in Liberty Lake is around $630,000. For a lot of people, that's just not doable. So the cost to live here can be prohibitive and another reason you might not want to live here. Now, the fifth reason you want to avoid moving to Liberty Lake is Liberty Lake is a growing town. I talk to a lot of people that are wanting to move away from the city or away from their towns that have gotten too big and they want the place they're moving to to look very similar to how it does now in 10 years, and that is not Liberty Lake. There are several housing developments that are being built right now. There's a new development going in right along the river called North Liberty Lake, or Knoll, and it's gonna look just like Kendall Yards in downtown Spokane. It's gonna be mixed use, you're gonna have condos above shops. They've already started building it, but it is going to extend all the way down the river, and it's supposed to be very high end. They're also getting a 400,000 square foot warehouse going along the freeway right next to the pot shop and there's a bunch of other construction happening. So if you're looking for a town that's gonna look the same in 10 years, I can tell you Liberty Lake's not gonna look the same in two years. There's a lot of growth happening. It's really exciting for some people and kind of a drag for others. The sixth reason you might wanna avoid Liberty Lake, in Liberty Lake, golf is life. There are three golf courses here in Liberty Lake and there's only 12,000 people. So per capita, that's kind of a lot of golf courses per person. Plus, you are allowed to drive a golf cart anywhere you go in the city. And for some people, that is just not cool. They do not like that. Four wheelers are okay, but golf carts, come on. What is this, Caddyshack? So golf is a huge part of life here in Liberty Lake. And if you're not a golfer, you might just not like it. Number seven, children are everywhere in Liberty Lake. There are a ton of parks all over Liberty Lake. They're, some are really big, some are just small ones, but they're everywhere and children are everywhere, especially during the summer when school is out. So if you're like me, I really love my kids, but I don't necessarily love everyone else's parents. I can't be alone on this issue, right? So if you don't like being around kids and lots of noises, then Liberty Lake might not be the place for you. The eighth reason you might wanna avoid Liberty Lake, Liberty Lake has a very strong police force and they're not afraid to use it. Now, despite Washington starting to believe that crime is just a symptom of society and it's our responsibility to fix it and we shouldn't be punishing it, Liberty Lake does not feel the same way. There's a lot of security cameras all over town. When you go to parks, you will see police officers sitting there making sure that the kids are safe. So if you're an ultra progressive who wants to defund the police, you might not feel safe here in Liberty Lake because of how safe it is. Number nine, the restaurants here are always busy. Liberty Lake has 12,000 people and they do have over a dozen restaurants, but I can tell you, my wife and I love coming to Liberty Lake to eat out. The restaurants here are really, really good. They have some of the best sushi, hibachi, really good burger places, pizza, Italian, all kinds of stuff. But you are going to be waiting, and because it's Washington and the minimum wage is quite a bit higher here, you do end up paying more than you would over in Idaho. Ultimately, I think because of how good it is, it's worth it, but 
I hate waiting. I grew up where Friday night you could just walk into almost any restaurant and not have to wait. So yes, I'm a bit spoiled in that way, but the good news is, is there's several restaurants being built right now. So hopefully that will lessen the wait time to get in. But if you're the kind of person that wants to live in a real small town that you can just walk into a restaurant, uh, weekends, during the weekday, it doesn't matter, and get a seat right away, Liberty Lake's not gonna be the place for you. The 10th reason you want to avoid Liberty Lake, and I know this is going to resonate with a lot of people watching my channel, most of Liberty Lake has HOAs or CCNRs. A lot of this area is planned developments, and the HOAs do restrict you from raising chickens and goats in your backyard. You're not gonna be able to do that here in Liberty Lake. Maybe if you're outside of city limits in the county, you can do that, but not in the city. Now the costs for HOAs are pretty low and they're not super strict, but if you're doing things to upset your neighbors and they complain, they're definitely going to warn you. And if you don't listen, you are going to get a ticket. Ultimately, that's what keeps this city looking so nice, but I know a lot of people are trying to get away from that because they wanna be able to grow their own food and do what they want on their property. Ultimately, I think the HOAs and CCRs are what makes this place look so nice, but it's not for everyone. So that's it guys, the 10 reasons you might want to avoid Liberty Lake. Leave me a comment in the comment section letting me know if you could see yourself living in a place like Liberty Lake or if, nope Trent, you nailed it. Those 10 reasons are exactly why I won't be moving to Liberty Lake. I wanna hear about it and give me a thumbs up if you like this video and if you are serious about getting moved to Idaho or Eastern Washington, reach out to me and my team at the number or email address below, day, nights, weekends, it does not matter, and until the next one, I will see you later.